rest aren't going to be as easy there. Ah, good. Now you understand the basics, we can begin in earnest. Your hero is returned to his beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. So yeah, we've got story marriage. Endless. Not yet. Show me more of your skills if you want to take on the endless challenge. So that's locked till we beat the Jack of Plague. Let's go to story merge. This is his cabinet. So there's a Jack of Dust. Mm -mm. A quick glimpse at things to come. There you can see, we can look at the others, so... We've got Jack of Dust, Jack of Skulls, Queen of Dust, Jack of Plague, King of Dust, Jack of Scales, Queen of Skulls, Queen of Plague, King of Skulls, Queen of Scales, a quick glimpse at things. King of Plague, and the King of Scales. Oh yeah, and these are the relics, I believe, which you unlock when you've cleared all of us return row. So, let's have a look at the Jack of Skulls. So see, that's, I believe, the cards that are going to be in the deck, for certain. So he's going to add free to his skulls, and free supply. Nice cards in there. Time for you to face my undead army. Meet the Jack of Skulls. So now I can show off the deck builder. We will use a recommended deck. So as you see, you can equip your, not only your equipment, but what you encounter as well. So if you look here, you've got see that the new cards. We aren't sure what they do yet until we found them. Explorer's helmet. Damocles. Mm -hmm. got... uh... Tell you what, let's take out an axe and put a sword in its place. Oh, this is oh the DLC back. You can select a. F yeah, you can select a fate. So. So I think these are the three defaults, Apprentice, Adventurer, and Warlord, signifying easy, medium, and hard. Let's see what we're doing there. And all these are from the DLC, I believe. We're going to stick with Advent- I'm not going to go too deep into these. I'm going to stick to Adventurer. And these are all our encounters. As you see.
Some cards are locked and cannot be removed from your deck. Ah, so anything... Locked cards cannot be removed until you have fulfilled their conditions. As you see, the deck of skulls in our deck, we can't remove it until we've actually defeated him. Neither can we remove the goblins. So any card with a lock over it, over it, you can't remove until you've actually, until you either beat the event or beat a certain encounter. I think our encounter deck's fine. Let me keep it. So, without further ado, let's start. Let's start. The Jack of Skulls is our second opponent. He probably won't be as easy as the Jack of Dust. New content awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. I will add my own cards. So yeah, there we go. Now you get to see his elaborate setup method. I do like it. You play for life and death. Prepare yourself. Okay, so no choice but to go to the right first. The Maiden again. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or perhaps we are merely cycling. Yeah, around. I'm not really. I'm, I don't think I'm going to repeat the dialogue for cards we've already seen. Time again. So in this case, let's actually ask for gold. Mira seems surprised. It's unlike an adventurer to beg for coin. But very well, if that is your wish. And we get three gold game cards. 15 gold? Not bad. 25 gold? Even better. And 20 gold. It's said that sharp eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of Lady Luck's contrary nature. Farewell, Morgan. Okay, I fancy going up. Upstairs. Oh, so as you see, we found the exit already. So we can go down to the next floor, but I'm going to keep looking around here. So, river. Running water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though. It's just a pain to get past. Your path is blocked by a river. The war is clear but fast flowing. See, you see the token icon on the bomb. Bomb. That means that that token flowing in the air there. Two successes, a huge success, and a failure. Okay, so the odds are with me, but number two. Ah, oh, we got the huge success. How oh, nice. Your light armor makes the crossing easy, and you even stop to die for some shiny stones on the riverbed that may fetch a few coins. The dealer draws you one gold. You go. 30 gold! Once on the other side of the river, you realize one of the stones is in fact a ring. You put it away to have it cleaned and identified layer, then continue your journey. And this card's token, token is now yours. mine! Well done. As you see, that's probably because we got the huge success. If we got the success, we probably would have found gold and that would have been it. Okay. It's Mr. Lionel again. I'm starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. <laughs> the funny thing is he says that, but I can't actually remove him from my deck. So... <laughs> So yeah, we got Mr. Lionel again. I could give him 20 gold actually, I've got plenty of gold. Occasionally losing his place and moving different coins around randomly, he attempts to count the gold you place in front of him. This carries on for a while before he, quite calmly and deliberately, swallows each of the coins. Oh, now, let's see what I have for you. 
Mr. Lyle taps his staff on the ground and a shield with him. Oh yeah. So we get a shield. And he runs. So let's get to the next floor, shall we? Deeper towards our foe. Your journey is well begun. Many have reached. Ah, we got our first achievement as well. Further, nice. In fact, I do not know if you have what it takes. So we go a straight the path this time. A maze of traps. A cave, traps, and the hope of treasure. It's all I could ask for. Okay, yeah. this card might be a bit deadly. There's a token in it for you if you win. You found the goblin treasure cave. Will you enter? Well, I'm a I'm stupid, so yes, of course I'll enter. Ooh, we're actually in a scene. An obstacle course, maybe? Now we begin to raise the stakes. Yep, that's, yep this is an obstacle course. Against you. Beware of my trap. Ooh. I didn't even see that trap. <laughs> mm. okay. I need to pass quickly. Swiftly dodge them. Wait for that to come down. Roll across. And we made it. Ah, I got hit once because I didn't see the arrow trap. Having survived the traps, you loot the chest. Free game cards. And equipment. Let's I'm see sure what it is. Grateful for that. Fortitude's breath. A shield. Every third encounter does not consume food. That's good. Yep, we're definitely equipping that. Ten health, so I get back. So I get back the health I lost to that trap. Yeah. And another equipment. What is it? Medium armor. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. So better protection, but slightly decreased movement. I'll take armor it. Armor protects you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. And we get the token. Okay. Wondering when we'll find a place to get food. Ah, Travelling Mage might be the place to get food. Shady Grove about the Bean Trail. You find a travelling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventures. Mages sell only specific items they discovered in faraway lands. Their prices can be higher, but they also pay well for anything that catches the interest. Well, greetings, wise traveller. I have much to offer you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. So we can buy food from him. Only in ones, though, it looks like. Let's get free food. What can I sell? I can sell my old shield. Hags wraps. Each dragon fits a curse. Uh, plunderer's cap. You can draw supplies instead. Draw two and pick one. The Damocles. Hearn's antlers. Lizardmen take double damage. We'll get the hags wraps. It's not enough that you kill them, you'll curse them too. Yeah, I think they'll do.
Okay, next card. Twisted Canyon again. It lives in every game. That initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days, and the canyon has been there from the outset. Sir, <laughs> last time we did this, I ended up falling painfully down the canyon. So hopefully, when I pick the third card again, there will not be a failure beneath it. Thank you, game. Thank you, luck. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. And you retrieve the weapon. Ooh, we get our first holy weapon. Now it'll be resurrected. <laughs> this mace inflicts more damage the lower the health of the wielder is. Well, it's much better than our axe. Sure that's what? the right approach. We'll take it, I see. Captain of the guards. I always thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. I see you have no such concerns. Win this and claim my token. You hear a shot from up ahead and the sounds of battle. Racing forward, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Oh, and we just acquired a holy weapon in the last card. How convenient. The two of skulls. More broken, skeletons for you to deal with. Broken bones are the area around the man, but there are still more causing on him. He appears badly injured. Stranger! He calls as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. It's a lump of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. Well, it is a holy weapon. But my desperate measures. My desperate measures is way better. My desperate measures is a holy weapon as well, so. Yeah, let's wreck some skeletons. Okay, skeletons. Wow! They got murdered. Good luck putting them to rest. Keep the mace. We have enough back at Kaber. Kader. We've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently. I came to investigate. He stops to look around all the bone fragments. More of them here than I suspected. Some new horror must have decided to sell in these parts and bore its minions. I must head back to the capital and report this to the Duke. Watch your step, friend. There is something more powerful at work than just these skeletons. And we get our third token of the game. Yeah, sorry, I kind of tossed your mace. I didn't need it. Were you hoping this was the end? Another floor awaits. Down we go. Good. Now all you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls and we can progress. Oh, thank you for telling me he's on this floor. Another traveling mage. I'm gonna pass him up. The Dead King's Hall. Three. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? You, maybe? A uh, challenge for you, and a token is... It's an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but will surely be guarded. There are two monster cards this time. Two, two of dust! Well... Let's try and take them by surprise. Ooh. This one might be risky if it fails, and he even double shuffled them. Um, far right. Ah, too bad. You are spotted as you approach, and the creatures raid themselves to combat. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that one. So, we've got a lot of bandits.
you loot the room we get free game cards and a token so and equipment explorer's helmet it's more late to navigation but still real stairs and uh, I'm going up every level I'm going to Goldman's reviewing every encounter on level that's good five food that's how welcome and five max health take the token it is yours the token is ours. 